So today, we've got a five and a half pound center cut, thick cut, still with the skin on, pork belly here. We're not going to cube this thing up. We're going to leave this thing whole, smoke it till it's done. We're going to use the Pit Barrel Cooker Jr. We're going to give that thing another chance to redeem itself. We're going to use Killer Hogs D Barbecue Rub and Uncle Steve's Smoke Bomb. Going to have great flavor. So let's go ahead and get started. Went ahead and took the pork belly out the packaging. Now some people, they want to square this up. See how like this corner here is missing some. They would cut this whole piece off here. Some people would take this skin layer down some because it's just a little thick. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to leave it as is and we're going to roll with it. First things first little spray canola oil. I'm gonna go ahead put that on there. On this side here, not gonna do much seasoning. Just gonna go ahead and hit it up with some of that smoke bomb. Just a light coating of it. Now on the meat side here, this is where the action is going to be. Go ahead, put down some a mustard layer. You're not really going to taste this. This is just to help make sure that the season is going to stick. Now we're going to go ahead and hit it up with that Killer Hogs rub. Everybody knows about this rub. Nice and thick layer. Then that smoke bomb by Uncle Steve. This is one of his new ones. Got a nice smoky flavor to it. Gonna go ahead and hit it up on these, these sides now. Once that grill comes up to temp, Going to go ahead and put this on the grill now. Should be about 275 degrees. That's what they claim the pit barrel runs at. Mine runs just a little hotter. It runs around 315 plus. So it's going to cook up a little quick. I try to watch that bottom gauge down there. So I'm going to watch it real close. But hour and a half in, let's go ahead and take a quick look. Oh yeah, we're coming along beautifully. Nice pork smell coming off of this. We all done. Let it rest for a minute so it don't burn my mouth. Looking good. Let's go ahead and cut into it now. Got a little bit of a smoke ring. Take a look at that. Nice and pretty. Cut off a little piece. Gonna go for that taste test. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, melts in your mouth. First thing I tasted was the applewood smoke. Then it's the combination of the Uncle Steve's Smoke Bomb and the Killer Hogs Rub. Those two go well, oh so great together. I'm definitely going to use that combination again in the future 
on other meats. So look out for that. If you like what I'm doing, please like, share, subscribe, comment below. Thank you. Have a good day.